Move over, James Charles. See you later, Tfue. Because guess what? I got my own little piece of YouTube drama this week. I'm officially a YouTuber. I gotta say, it feels pretty good. Years and years of being on the sidelines of all the YouTube drama. And now, I'm a starting player. Years of not even being invited to the YouTube tea parties. And now, I'm at the head of the table. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. So last week I was on Jeff Widek's uh, show. It's called Jeff's Barbershop. And basically he cuts your hair and interviews you and insults you. So that's what I was expecting. And then he, as a, as a fun little surprise, he decides to bring out Jake Paul, who then proceeds to confront me about cyberbullying kids. Come in what? Nicer? Come in nicer, dude. You don't care. You about... cyber bullies kids, bro. Kids? You you're cyber kids. Don't... kids, bro. I don't like that. Which kids? I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Hey, man. You said sorry. That's good. Yeah. I'm sorry for bullying you. I was blindsided by the whole thing, and it was really fucking uncomfortable. Just horribly awkward. And after. Jake left, I, I kind of was like, damn, like he's going to use that footage in a vlog or something. He's probably going to make me look like a dumbass. Little bit of a bummer. And then a couple days later, he posted a super long video entirely dedicated to the confrontation where at the end, he basically tells all of his subscribers to, to go and cancel me. Um, the sad part about it is that I think the only way he will change, like maybe his his processes or his thoughts on everything is if he faces enough backlash. But I don't know, I I feel like maybe his, his editor is a fan or something. <laughs> Cause somehow he managed to make me look really good and himself look really bad. I'm not gonna talk too much about the video cause you can just go watch it. But I will point out a couple of my favorite parts. The first is a clip from some video I made where uh, I'm goofing on his brother for wearing a Minions costume, and I'm talking about how nobody likes Minions. Logan's, I watched that one. He's uh, dressed up as a Minion. I don't know who the f made that call. Who signed off on that? Who was like, yeah, dude, for your first single ever for the it video, you should definitely dress up as the thing that everybody in America hates most. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine like being a human and having this much hatred inside. Like, come on. Is, they're minions. I thought everybody hated them. I, I just, I hated them. You know what, actually though, I've kind of come around on minions a little bit. I have, I gotta be honest. It might in part be because of these uh, cute little shot glasses that we got. It's not a shot glass actually, it's an egg cup apparently, but uh, I use it as a shot glass. So maybe it is because of these bad boys right here, but um, I kind of think minions are cute now. Fucking. Guilty as charged. Take me away. Anyway, then they then they uh, cut in this clip of me from the morning routine video. I'll have my daily dose of vitamins, and I'll make a couple of these health drinks. Kamu powder? Oh, dude, you're drinking cum powder? He's just a ball of hatred. <laughs> what a weird clip to use. Like, come on, cum powder? That's fucking funny. You cannot deny that that's funny. I feel like the editor was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip this one in. <laughs> Cum powder? How could I not? I'm gonna slip it in. It's funny because even after even after we posted that whole video, Dre Drexler, the guy who the video was about, reached out to us on the day that we posted it and said, "This is fucking hilarious." I just I just don't know how much that does for Jake's point. One thing I absolutely will not stand for though is this part. I saw this Cody Co guy for the first time when he was working at Full Screen, which is like a YouTube community network as like a little uh, back end tech developer. Ah. Uh. Oh, a little, a little backhand tech developer. Just a little puny little backhand tech developer. Just so disrespectful. Just belittling an entire career in one little statement. It's not cool, dude. You can come for me as much as you want. But don't come for my fellow software engineers. That's where I draw the fucking line. Also, this has got to be the worst time to confront someone. Right after a haircut? I'm looking fresh as hell in this. What were you thinking? Anyways, I don't wanna talk more about this video. Like I said, you can go watch it if you want. I'm making this video uh, to just thank everyone for all of the tweets and videos supporting me. It's uh, it's really cool to see that stuff and it's really cool to 
to know that people actually give a shit about the stuff that I put out. So I really appreciate that. It was awesome to see so many people that I'm fans of make videos about the situation. As cringy as it was. Even Matty Smokes did a video about it. <laughs> Fucking... Keep it 50 Nick, baby. Blow a fatty ghost out for that one. Lastly, I got like a bazillion tweets saying that uh, we should do it. That's cringe on on this, but I just want to say that's not going to happen. Honestly, the video is a that's cringe episode in itself. So I, I don't really think anything else has to be said about it. I don't want to drive the situation any further. And there's been a bunch of hilarious videos made already that hit all the funny points. So go check those out if you want. Or I talk about it in more detail on our podcast if you want to hear about the whole confrontation from my perspective. The whole tea party from the perspective of the big boys table. Anyways, thank you again, guys. Um, back to your regularly scheduled programming. And I'm back in my studio now after the whole human feces fiasco. So expect a new video in the next few days. Shout out to my software engineers out there. I see you. And um, let's end cyberbullying 2019, baby. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.